Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Thanks to all of our witnesses. I think all but one of my questions have been already thoroughly um, discussed, although I will just add that I look forward to an update on the Israel's request for emergency military aid um, as well and, and more details regarding that. Um, but I do have a question um, for you, General Van Herc, and I've really appreciated um, our time together, our discussions about uh, over-the-horizon radar, the importance of all-domain awareness, uh, and of course the, the hugely successful test of uh, over-the-horizon radar at Camp Grafton a, a few years ago. And we'll just ask if you could sort of further explain the importance of over-the-horizon radar and how it increases the capability to defend the homeland and why you need resources, frankly, to, uh, to fast-track some procurement. Senator, thank you. Uh, as we look at our competitors, potential adversaries, they've developed capabilities to hold the homeland at risk uh, below the nuclear threshold. Those capabilities that they've developed uh, now are extremely long range. So for example, Russian capabilities to launch uh, cruise missiles now extend to over Russia that can threaten North America. They can uh, also uh, do that from uh, very far ranges from our two o'clock towards Europe and the same thing uh, in the Northwest as well. Uh, today's legacy uh, North warning system uh, has uh, served its purpose and done well and we're uh, using a system called Pathfinder to give us some additional capability but uh, you know physically the system can't see over the horizon or long distances. So over the horizon radar gives us the capability to have domain awareness much further than we do today which increases decision space for our senior leaders and that's a top priority for me. It's also my number one unded, uh, unfunded priority list is to fast track uh, the, the site survey, the, the, the additional uh, development so that we can get uh, this domain awareness capability of over the horizon uh, radar sooner. I noticed that on the unfunded priority list, which is why I asked the question and given my, of course, personal interest, um, what would be the next steps then for testing and production? I would have to defer to uh, the uh, service on, on that one. I, I'm not sure what those next steps. For us, it would be to get the, uh, the additional uh, funding here, which is $25 million, to uh, move forward to fast track uh, site development and those kinds of things. As far as testing of the actual system, I'd defer to the uh, acquisition authority on that one. All right. Thank you. That's everything, Mr. Chairman.